welcome. This practice is to assist you in decompressing after a long day of work. You can join me sitting in hero's pose, or if you prefer, you can sit in a Sukhasana, Siddhasana, Half Lotus, or Full Lotus. If you find that there's discomfort here, pressure on the top of your feet, or you just find that your hips don't come down towards your heels, just take a pillow from your couch or a chair, slip it underneath you, and that will give you that little bit of elevation. If you find that it's your quads that are tight and it still feels uncomfortable, then take one or two more, as many as you need, to be able to have that little bit of elevation. And then once you are in a comfortable position, bring your shoulders up towards your ears, take a deep inhale through your nose, and a long sigh out your mouth. Just release tension, worries, frustrations, fears, anything that feels dense in your body or mind. And once you've done so, just gently close your eyes. Now, when you close your eyes, take a moment to notice how you feel without any judgment. Does the mind seem to be racing? Is there a feeling of anxiety or restlessness? If so, I encourage you to have your palms facing down. And you can keep either with your hands open or you can bring your thumb and your index finger to touch. If though you feel very, very tired, again, it's been maybe a long day and you're feeling a little sluggish and you're seeking to have a bit more energy, then have your palms facing up, being open to receiving and then bring your thumb and your index finger to touch. Now with your eyes closed, let your shoulders fall down away from your ears. Lift up through the crown of your head and connect with the breath. So first just notice the rise and the fall of your breath in your body. You don't need to alter your breath in any way yet. Just becoming aware of your breath pattern right now. So usually when we feel anxious, the breath is quite high up in the chest and it's a short, shallow breath. If we feel quite tired and sluggish, the breath is much further down in the belly. And what we want to find is an even breath that nourishes us, allows us to feel grounded without a feeling of heaviness. So we're going to begin with a pranayama known in yoga as samavriti. And all this means is matching the inhale and the exhale with an equal breath length. So regardless of what the breath pattern is right now, just notice what is the length of your inhale. So count that in your mind. And then what is the length of your exhale? and count that in your mind. If you need to shift your legs at any point, do so. Now, once you've counted the breath length of the inhale and the exhale, you're going to, for the next six breaths, match that inhale and exhale breath length. So if it was a count of four, obviously it's gonna be an inhale for four, and then an exhale for four. Now try to inhale and exhale through the nostrils. In yoga, unless it's a specific pranayama or a cleansing breath with the exhale out the mouth, the breath is an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the nose. So now continue inhaling and exhaling. Again, for that same breath length that you've determined is the most appropriate one for you. Based on which was the shorter breath length. Now, as you continue to do this, wherever you may notice any tension or holding, on the exhale, allow yourself to relax. 
Let go of that tension. Feel more at ease. And as you inhale, nourish your body and your mind through the breath. Now continue this way until you come to your sixth breath. Allow the muscles of your face to soften and relax. Let the shoulders relax down away from the ears. And once you do come to your sixth breath, bring your hands together at your heart. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a long exhale out your mouth. Now from here, if you have any props, just simply move them off to the side. You're gonna bring your knees wide and start to draw your hips back towards your heels and extend your arms coming into child's pose. Now, as you come into child's pose, you may notice that the hips don't wanna come down towards the heels and you're more in this position. That's absolutely fine. Just extend your arms further out and then let your head relax between your arms. Now you could be in this position or you can walk your hands a little further, start to drop your chest closer towards the mat, or if you feel comfortable to do so, you can begin to draw your hips back towards your heels. Now pull your heels slightly away from each other to release tension in the low back, whether you're further up or closer down towards the heels, pull again the heels away. Now to release mental tension, bring your forehead onto the mat and then just gently rock from side to side. So that motion along the forehead of rocking is really going to help, again, release that mental tension if you're holding any. Good. Now come up onto your fingertips and we're going to come into a side lateral stretch. So walk your hands over to the right. Now as you're walking your hands over to the right, draw the left hip crease back. You can remain in this position. You can come down onto your palms or you can take your left hand, place it over top of your right. Pull the left hip crease back as much as you comfortably can and let your head rest between your arms. Okay, now come back up onto your fingers, walk your hands over in the other direction and draw your right hip crease back. Now you may find for yourself that one side of your body feels quite a bit different than the other. That is to be expected and perfectly normal. So just notice which side that is. Good, now come back to center. We're gonna shift our weight here. So you're gonna to start to walk your hands towards you. Now, as you walk your hands towards you, bring your hands behind you. You can again be on your fingertips and start to lift your buttocks up away from the heels and draw your shoulder blades towards each other. You can come down onto your palms. If you feel comfortable to do so, you can pull again the heels away from each other Allow the buttocks to rest into the soles of the feet and come down onto your forearms. Now this may feel good in your body or you may find that you can go down further, in which case you're going to bring your elbows onto the mat and slowly guide your upper back down. Now from here, you can either interlace your fingers behind your head and bring your elbows out 
You can take your arms and draw them up overhead, or you can always have your hands over top of your belly as well. And just allow the breath to be even and steady, exactly as you did when you were in your seated position. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. And again. Now on your next inhale, allow that to help guide you up. And once you come up, you're gonna bring your knees in towards each other. Come onto your hands and knees. Ensure that your knees and your hips, your knees and your ankles are in one line. Toes are gonna to be tucked and we're gonna move through six cat cows. So shoulders right over your wrists. Watch that the heels don't collapse in towards each other. And then as you're pressing the heels of your hands into the mat, round your back. This is a beautiful way to increase the blood flow to the nerve endings of your spine. And just move with your breath, inhaling and exhaling, allowing this to be a moving meditation. And you'll notice the more you listen for the sound of your breath, the more the mind will begin to calm. So it's very soothing for the mind to hear the sound of the breath. And we'll do two more. And last one. Now return to a neutral position and begin to rotate your fingers to point towards your knees. Now they may not point directly towards your knees and that's absolutely fine, but try to start to draw them in this direction. Keeping your toes tucked, you're gonna to begin to draw your hips towards your heels. This is quite an intense stretch, so move slowly. And if you start to notice that the heels are lifting away from the mat, the heels of the hands, guide yourself slightly forward, or as you're drawing back towards your heels, press the heels of your hands further down towards the mat, and then just relax into it. So again, there's a lot of sensation here. You don't wanna force your body into positions but just breathe your way into it. And then once you're in the experience of the stretch, send your breath into those areas of tightness, which seems very abstract at first, but just think with the breath, that you're sending the breath down along your arms, into your wrists. And then on your next inhale, draw slightly forward. You're going to keep your toes tucked. And now from here, bring again your hips towards your heels. Now, especially because we end up in tight shoes often, the feet can get quite sore through a work day. So try to keep the toes tucked, if even just a little bit. If you need to draw further up, that's absolutely fine. But the weight of your hips down is going to give more of a stretch for the toes. And then we're just going to shake out the wrists let that go. Good. Now we're going to come back onto our hands and knees. Take the tops of your feet, just gently hit the top of your feet from side to side, and then tuck your toes again and bring your right leg out and just rock forward and back. Now draw your knee down, same thing other side, just rock forward and back. And we're going to come now into our downward facing dog. So from here, bring your hips towards your heels, draw the inner crease of your elbows to face forward so you don't walk into your joints and keep a slight bend in the elbows as you're coming up. Then you can be thinking here, keeping the heels away from the mat. If you find that you're comfortable to bring the heels towards the mat, you can, and you can start to straighten the legs.
And then just breathe here, wherever you are. You can take a longer downward facing dog if you'd like. You can keep a bend in the knees if that feels better in your body. You can also pedal your feet out. Give your calves a stretch. Maybe if you've been sitting in a chair all day, the hips are tight. So just if that's the case, move in whatever way feels comfortable. Hips being tight, it can feel really nice to bring weight over onto one foot and then shift that over and over onto the other. And then just come back and return back down onto your knees. Now from here, we're gonna cross our ankles and either if this doesn't feel good, bringing your weight back and bringing your feet down, then when you come forward here and you cross your ankles, just uncross them, bring your weight over onto your side and then come to your seated. We're gonna scooch up our mat, come down onto our back and bring our knees in towards our chest. Now just draw your arms into cactus and let your right knee with your left knee stacked on top, draw over to the right. And then come back to center and just over to the left. And as you're doing this, try to keep the opposite shoulder from the direction of the knees rooted down. And if that means lifting the knees up, do so. But this way you're going to have a, a lovely spinal twist. And then come back to center, bring your left foot down, take your right ankle. And this is just a classic stretch for the hip. Coming in to thread the needle, pull the thigh towards you. If you'd like to get a little deeper into your hip, use your elbow and guide your knee slightly away as you bring your thigh closer towards your torso. And then just release, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Good, now release that. Bring again both of your knees in towards your chest and then guide your legs up. So when you have your legs up, imagine your legs are resting up against a wall. Flex your feet, your feet can be either together or apart. And then just bring your arms down by your side and this helps to restore your nervous system. So imagine again, the heels are resting up against a wall. You might feel you know, a little bit of shaking with the muscles. You might start to feel a tingling sensation in the toes and know that of course you can always bring your legs down at any time. Otherwise stay here for another four breaths. And just let your breath again be even and steady. Let go of any tension in the body and the mind. And if you notice that that feels challenging right now, just note it. That's absolutely fine, just note it. And each time you do this, of course, it's gonna feel easier, more comfortable, and it fluctuates. Okay, now once you come to your next exhale, you're gonna bend your knees and just make little circles with your ankles, going in one direction and the other. And then flex your feet and point your toes. Flex your feet and point your toes. And once more. Okay. Now yet your legs feel really heavy and weighted. Draw your arms up. Take your thumbs into your palms. Wrap your fingers. Now just circle your wrists. Same as you did with your ankles, going in one direction. And then just going in the other. Okay, now let your shoulders feel heavy and weighted. Bring a little bend to your elbows. And you're gonna breathe here for four breaths. So just feel the weight of gravity. Again, allow your limbs to feel weighted. Okay. 
One more breath here. Now you're going to begin to shake it out. So just start to shake your legs. Don't worry about whether this seems silly to you or not. This is actually a practice in Hatha Yoga to uh, get energy moving in the body and release anything that feels heavy, dense, sticky, negative. So just start to shake it out. You can make these really fast. Or you can just make them slow, more deliberate or all over the place. Whatever helps you to just let go. So just ridding again of any negativity, anything that you don't want to bring in to the remainder of your day, your evening. And then draw your knees in towards your chest. Take a deep inhale. And now you're going to take your hands behind. And as you exhale, bring yourself up. Okay, now you're in a seated position. You can return back to hero's pose, the position that we took at the very beginning. You can sit cross-legged. Or you can be in Siddhasana, which is just simply taking your right or your left ankle and placing it on top of the other. Now bring your hands to rest down on your knees. Drop your chin towards your chest. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Let your left shoulder relax down. And then just change over, bringing the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. So now letting the right shoulder relax down. And then come back to a neutral position with your head. Bring your right shoulder, your gaze over, and try to draw the right shoulder slightly back. And now you're going to do the same thing with the left. So bring your gaze over the left shoulder. And then with the left shoulder, letting the left shoulder roll slightly back. And bring your head back to a neutral position. Drop your chin. Bring now your head up, bring your chin up, gaze up. Bring your head back to a neutral position. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears, take a deep inhale. And then a big long sigh out your mouth. And now bring your hands together at your heart. Bow your head to your heart and set an intention for the remainder of again your day or your evening. What is a quality that you would like to bring into this remainder of time that you have before your rest, your sleep, your renewal? And then notice how many opportunities you have to bring this quality of being into the moment. With that, now take your right hand over top of your left. Bring your thumbs to meet. Let your hands rest in your lap. Take one more long inhale through the nose. Eyes open or closed, whichever you prefer. And then exhale out the mouth or the nose again, whichever you prefer. The light within me honors the light within you. Have a beautiful rest again of your day or your evening, depending on your work schedule. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.